Alright, hi you guys. Today we'll be talking about normal form of a linear equation. Uh, now normal is just, if you remember from working with normals from our previous time, uh, when you do the dot product, normal is just the line that is perpendicular to a given line. Okay, and it just, it just helped to find the perpendicular. Okay, here's the formula. Now this is actually going to be, this is going to be rho, but for some reason the type is not coming up in Adobe, so I just left it as P because P looks like rho. Alright, P is the length of the normal from the line uh, to the origin, and rho, or I'm sorry, this is, that's phi, yeah, phi. Phi is the positive angle formed by the positive x axis and the normal. Okay, and as you can see, you can rewrite C in terms of P times cosine of phi and uh, rho times sine of phi. I said P, it should be rho. Okay, so rho is the length of the line that is going to be perpendicular to any line, and then uh, this right here is going to be uh, phi. Okay, and so you can actually calculate it. So if we actually had an information in there, let's say that the uh, P was uh, 6 and uh, the phi was. 150 degrees. And remember, uh, this is going to be going this way around there, so it's from the positive x-axis. It's from standard position. So we would rewrite it as x cosine of 150 uh, plus y sine of 150 minus or plus no, it's minus minus six equals zero. Okay. All right, and so we simplify it, and cosine of 150 is going to be the same as cosine of 30, except in the second quadrant, so it's going to be negative root 3 over 2, and x, I'll just put the x at the end, uh, plus that is going to be 1 half y equal, or minus 6, equals zero. Okay, now I have a denominator in each one and plus this is, now what I'm doing is I'm going from normal form, which this is normal form, to standard form. Okay, so I'm going to divide everything, I'm going to times everything by negative two. Now when I go to standard form, the reason why I need to multiply by negative two is because I do not want that first part okay to be positive alright and so I distribute it and so I should get root 3x uh, minus y plus 12 equals 0 and that's my standard form of this actual equation it's not the normal form okay now changing from standard to normal okay in other words in ax plus bx plus c equals zero. Divide each term by plus or minus the square root of a squared plus b squared. And the sign chosen must be the opposite of c. So if c is five, we're going to be dividing by negative of this. And if c was, uh, let's say, positive 12, you'd be divided by the negative version of it, okay? All right? And that is pretty much it. The examples in your book are pretty darn good. I wouldn't be too worried about those. Okay, but here, we'll go with an actual problem. 6x plus 8y plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this part is going to turn into the negative square root of, let me see, I want to say that's, yeah. 36 plus 64 and that should be negative 10. Okay, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 10. So I get uh, negative 3 fifths x uh, minus 4 fifths y minus 3 over 10 equals 0. Okay, and if you remember these numbers in front actually equal the, uh, the certain values. So this one right here is rho. So that's rho right there. And then, uh, 
cosine of phi three seven is going to be equal to negative three fifths. Okay, and sine of phi is going to be equal to negative four fifths. Okay, since we know that type of stuff. Let me see, where do we go from here? Okay, since these are both negative, it definitely has to be in the third quadrant. That's right. Okay, because remember, sine and cosine are both negative right here. Okay. Alright, so phi is going to be looking like this. Alright, and so I go ahead and start calculating it. Tangent of phi is going to be equal to, and it's going to be the uh, negative four fifths. all over negative three-fifths which this actually turns into four-thirds and then I do tangent inverse of both sides and I get uh, t approximately 233 degrees okay so the normal has a length of 0 0.3 units because remember 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.3 and the actual phi is going to be about well it's going to be about approximately so let me see approximate is 233 degrees okay and that's how you go back from normal form or from standard form to normal form I hope you get